morning ladies and gentlemen welcome back to my channel today I have an MPV to be featured to you guys which is the 2021 Toyota Innova facelift so this is based on the second generation Toyota Innova which is introduced in 2016 and the model right here is the 2021 new revised version so for the 2021 Toyota Innova in Malaysia you have three variants. The base variant going, going for 111,000, which is the 2.0 liter E spec. Then moving to the middle spec, we have the 2.0 liter G, which goes for 121,000 ringgit Malaysia. And this is the full spec, the G, the GX model, the X model going for 129,000 ringgit Malaysia. Okay, as usual, let's start from the engine. So the engine of this Toyota Innova facelift is the same engine as you found in the pre-facelift which is introduced in 2016 which is a set of 2.0 liter naturally aspirated petrol engine which produces 439 horsepower and 183 newton meters of torque So for the Malaysian market, you does not get the 2.4 liter diesel as you found in the Indonesian Toyota Innova Instead, you get a more fuel efficient 2.0 liter NA engine and the transmission of this 2021 Toyota Innova is paired with the same 6-speed automatic transmission. Okay, now let's move to our exterior walk around. Okay, so this is the headlight of the 2021 Toyota Innova facelift. So for the Toyota Innova, only this top spec the X variant gets the LED projector headlights together with this 4 bulb LED daytime running lights and the signal light has moving down to this side fenders right here together with some gloss black finishing so as for the E and the G you only get halogen projector headlights and the LED daytime running light is now finished in bulb for the E and the G variant so this is the first differences for the 2021 Toyota Innova facelift compared to the 2016 pre-facelift model. So next thing as you notice, you get a different set of grille design. As you can see, you get some dark grey treatments and this is the Toyota logo. And sadly for the Toyota Innova, you still does not get the Toyota safety sense as already standard for the Toyota Vios G-Spec the Toyota Corolla and the all new Toyota Fortuner which I will feature in this separate video so you get a different set of under bumper treatment and you get the LED fog lights together with some chrome treatment to make the car look more luxury because this is basically a C-segment crossover MPV so this is the front parking sensors layout and for the Innova, you get the 360 degree camera and this is the front camera. So this red color looks pretty interesting in my opinion. So moving to the rims. So for the Innova E and the G, you get a set of 16 inch single tone rim. As for the X, the full spec model, you get a set of 17 inch measured in 215 55 R17 which is finished in a dark color treatment and at the front you get the front disc brakes and the rear you get drum brakes and for your information this car is front engine rear wheel drive instead of front engine front wheel drive as all usual MPV or a crossover SUV so standard for the Innova X you get a chrome finishing side mirrors and this is the 360 degree camera so here's the side profile of the Toyota Innova. Nothing has changed over the second generation Innova as introduced in 2016. So we get chrome door handle together with the killer sentry for both front doors. So this is a convenient feature. So at the rear, because this is based on the leather frame chassis as you found in the Toyota Hilux and the all new Toyota Fortuner. So at the rear, it uses a leaf spring instead of coil spring. So here's the rear of the Toyota Innova. 
facelift so nothing has changed from the rear it's still the same bulb type tail lights and this is your rear fog light so the rear is completely the same as the 2016 Toyota Innova X variant so we get some combination of gloss black and chrome finishing so you get some side fenders this is the scratchable materials so that if you go through some rocks and not so good terrain it, it won't scratch your car paint so you get a rear spoiler integrated with the third brake light so this is the rear of the Innova X All right, so now let's check out the interior of the Toyota Innova X. See what Toyota have improved over the 2016 model. So, let me move the seat backwards so that you have a better view of the interior. So you get 8-way power adjustment seat for the driver's side only the passenger side still a manual adjustment unit but standard for the x variant of the Toyota Innova as you can see you get full leather seats together with some stitching so here's the steering wheel of the Toyota Innova facelift so it's the same steering wheel as you found in the 2016 Innova whereby you have a combination of dark wood trim as well as the leather wrap steering wheel so you get your steering controls right here and sadly it does not come with cruise control and like most, most new Toyota especially the SUV you get four automatic window is finished in both direction you have a small storage space to store your stuff and you get a rather huge door handle which is finished in fabric and the whole in interior treatment is finished in combination of black this is hard plastic don't expect a uh, soft leather com from uh, only 120,000 above crossover MPV but in my opinion the interior design of this Toyota Innova looks pretty modern as well when it first came in 2016 I personally think that this design is pretty modern so right here you get a 9 inch touchscreen infotainment display which supports Apple CarPlay and Android Auto which is a uh, good plus point so Toyota finally improved their touchscreen infotainment display to feature uh, Android Auto and Apple CarPlay which is a convenient feature as well as the 360 degree camera as you found in the facelifted Toyota Innova the Toyota Fortuner the Toyota Altis the Vios the Yaris all of them comes with a 360 degree camera and these are the 3D cameras so it's a plus point so how to activate this 360 degree camera you just locate a uh, button underneath this retractable cup holders get push start ignition for the G and the X model only the E still uses the traditional key to start the car and for the headlights you get automatic headlights front and rear fog lights and this signal stock are pretty high quality as well so the steering you get tilt and telescopic Good job Toyota, because you can find a perfect seating ergonomics inside the Toyota Innova. So for this car, you get dual zone climb control, single zone at the front, and you have another zone for the rear, which I will show you later. So this is to control your fan speed, this is to control your temperature, automatic mode, this is the controls for different modes of the air conditioning unit. So right here you get your driving mode, eco mode and power mode. Right here you get the two USB ports as well as the traction control deactivation button. So like I mentioned in the engine performance section, this Innova is fitted with a 6-speed automatic transmission with sequential. Basically it's a sport mode whereby you can up and down shift, but it does not come with a pedal shifter. So right here, you get a 12-volt socket and some storage space and two cup holders. 
and the practicality of this Innova is excellent because as you can see for the dashboard we have dual glove box one at the one at this side which has a cooling function and one at the down which is our traditional glove box rather deep and that side you still get a retractable card holder as well and you get some chrome accents running through the entire dashboard to make the car look more interesting so down here the door beams are quite huge as well so up here you get a ambient light this is the first in class in the 120,000 ringgit malaysia mpv so this is to turn off your dimming light and in my opinion these buttons are pretty high quality as well and you get a sunglass holder so right here you get the very thin mirror together with the light for both sides so right now let's get to the rear seats and forgot to mention that you get analog media cluster but it's finished in a pretty nice detailing and also a multi-information display at the center so this is the airway adjustable seats for the Toyota Innova and this car has a 7 airbag and the lock braking system electronic stability control so and so forth so it's a well fitted safety feature even though it does not come with the Toyota safety sense and you get a front dash cam right here and a rear dash cam I suppose is the optional accessories so you get Toyota door seats by finish in plastic instead of some aluminium kit plate but this you can upgrade in the outside accessory shop and this car does come with six speakers so as for the rear as you can see you get some silver treatment automatic windows and let's get to the inside because outside is a bit noisy so one thing i noticed when i see into the middle row seat is actually you sit pretty tall compared to the front seats so that you get a better visibility to the front so right here you get some fabric paddings and here you can store your stuff chrome door handle you get pilot seats i mean individual seats the g and e gets the traditional seven seater setup so as you can see you get a walk through to the third row seats so you get individual armrests as well and you open it it reveals a cup holders so right here you get some charging ports or oh, no charging port here but you get a storage space to store your phones down here you get the 12 volt socket and as for the legroom of the innova at the middle row seats it's a pretty generous amount in my opinion and as i mentioned you get the ambient light for the third row seats the middle row seats and the third row seat as well and you get another zone of climate controls so this is to adjust the ambient light of the innova and this is to adjust your fan speed automatic mode and off so one thing good about the innova is you get individual air vents and instead they put on the center console right here they put it up so that the air will blow more balanced to the middle row seat passenger and the third row seat also gets two individual air vents so each passenger in the car gets its own air vents so to me it's a pretty nice design if they put it right here only the middle row passenger gets to feel the air instead the third row seat they haven't designed any air vents in other segment vehicle other competitors so the aircon vent that is placed on the ceiling is a good design move and it does not get any sunroof of course and you get a dimming light for each side and you get a retractable handle together with the hook so I forgot to mention that you get an individual table like you would in the Nissan Serena and together with this wood detailing makes the car look more luxury so to get to the third row seat just pull this lever and the seat will automatic tumbles forward so it gives you an easy access to the third row seats so let me 
put back the seat. Well, it's actually not bad sitting at the third row seat because the seat angle can adjust it to a pretty slanted so that you get a pretty comfortable sitting position for the third row seat. So right here, you get a cup holders, you get some storage. And like I mentioned, you get individual air convent. So right here, you get a USB, two USB ports to charge your device, some storage, and a rather big third side window so that the visibility from the third row seat is excellent. So yeah, this is all about the third row seat. So I'm gonna show you the boot space and show you how you fold the third row seats up when you want to load more stuff. So to pop open the boot, the Innova does not come with any power tailgate or whatsoever. It's just a manual tailgate. So this is your reverse camera. You locate a touchpad underneath the Toyota logo to open the boot. You get a rather decent boot space and right here you can manually activate the rear boot light to have a better visibility when you are finding some stuff at night. And this is the mid middle passenger headrest which is stored right here which is the same design concept as the Nissan Serena. So how you gonna fold the third row seat? So first look at this lever. Look at this lever right here. So if you pull it, it will automatically tumbles down this seat back and the latch underneath will be disengaged. So right now you locate this hook right here. You need to hook at this spot right here. So now I'm gonna use two hands so I'm gonna pause the video for a while. Okay, so this is how you fold the third row seats. First, you pull this lever, let the seat back drops down. Then you use a bit of force to tumble the seat to the right side and hook the seat with this spot. So after that, you just fold this kaki right here. So you get a rather big storage space. So because this is based on the leather frame chassis, so the boot floor right here is rather limited because the right hand is rather tall. So the spare tire of this Innova is located down here. So I suppose it's the full size spare tire. So this is what you got for the boot space when the third row seat is all up. So yeah, this is all you need to know about this 2021 Toyota Innova facelift. So this is the X variant. So if you have any comments about this 2021 Toyota Innova X, you can comment down below and let me know. And special thanks to Laser Moto Seremban for letting me feature the 2021 Toyota Innova. So be sure to subscribe, like and share my videos if you like my contents. So I'll see you in my next video. Cheers.